three, two, one. Check it out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey there, this is Design of the Times, a series celebrating Lowe's Home Improvement's 100th birthday. I'm your host and designer, Maurice Harris. I'm helping homeowners make over spaces from various decades, and today I'm working with the wonderful couple, Emily and CJ. They've got a fantastic 1990s living room that I cannot wait to get my hands on and bring it to the 21st century. Welcome to our 90s living room. It's our bonus space that we would like to have updated. We had a vision for this room. It has a lot of natural light. It feels like a sunroom. It has a great flow to the rest of the home, but it was always kind of tricky figuring out how to furnish it. And maybe that's part of the reason why we never did. And the kids just took it over. We want to make this space more of a living space, entertainment space. It flows right off the kitchen. The holidays coming. It'd be nice to have a comforting space where everyone can enjoy each other. We're stuck in the 90s a little bit here with all the light wood. There's a whole lot of beige and tan. I feel like all the colors are blending in. So it could use a pop of color and bring some more life in here. I know this space can be fabulous. We need to fast forward this design. About 25 years, fast forward it. Emily, CJ, talk about the 90s, huh? Right, right. Yeah, it's uh, our 90s bonus room. Thanksgiving is coming up. We really want to host and we really want to use this space to be able to entertain. If we can just bring this up to the modern era, we are gonna have you ready for all of your holiday festivities. I mean, it's so funny how the 90s was all about like being a little excessive. Let's throw in an extra room. We'll have this one just for the sun. That was like the beginning of like the open layout. I do like this idea of the balcony from the kitchen looking into this great room is kind of charming. We love the space and the potential it provided. We just never could figure out how to utilize it best. I mean, it's really interesting how that knotty pine is really dated looking, right. but I feel like there's still something really nice about that color. It just needs to be updated. But what I do want to get rid of are those weird columns. That to me dates the space more than the knotty pine. I mean, there's so much light, there's so much sun. There's such an opportunity for a lot of like living things. I do love plants. So I need you guys to just do one thing for me, really simple, keep it really easy. And that's to get out of your own house <laughs> and let me have the keys. All right, we're out of here, Maurice. Peace out. Okay, perfect. Home decor and design in the 1990s didn't really have much of an identity. Trends were mostly made up of mixed bag of elements from, you know, the decades preceding it. Color schemes range from bright primary colors to pastels to a whole lot of beige. Ugh. Patterns on top of patterns, wall treatments, and faux plants. Can you believe it? And that's just some of the trends of that decade. For Lowe's, the 1990s marked the company's entrance into the digital market with Lowe's.com, where, <clears throat> coincidentally, you'll be able to find all the products we use in this living room makeover that's about to start right now. We're gonna first change up the walls in this room. Faux wall finishes, hello sponge paint, were all the rage in the 90s. We're taking our inspiration from accent walls of the decade and creating a faux finish on three walls using Valspar's Venetian plaster and a charcoal gray tone. It's gonna create a rich, textured, timeless feel. On the last wall, a fresh coat of paint. I chose a creamy white tone from the Lowe Centennial paint palette for a nod to the 90s beige that totally works today. The trim of the room is a little bit of good and a little bit of bad. The faux half column just needs to go away because no bueno. We're removing them and repairing the drywall to create a cleaner aesthetic for the entryways. The knotty pine trim throughout the space has a typical 90s look and feel but it definitely can work in my opinion, especially with the new darker walls. That said, we're painting the spindles near the breakfast nook black. The black plus pine will give new updated life to the room. The 90s were signature for a lovely artificial plant moment, but since we've got those great skylights, there's enough natural light in the room to use real plants instead. 
We're adding tons of plants from Lowe's and a DIY propagation wall, which uses cuttings and water to create new plants. Plants are a living, breathing way to infuse style, texture, and energy into a space. We're of course going to bring in some stylish new furniture and accessories for the living room, including new seating, a rug, and great new lighting, all from Lowe's. And we didn't forget about the kids. They've now got their own little toy nook with great organization. All in all, this is a completely transformed space. Okay, it's reveal time. Time for Emily and CJ to see what we've done. Three, two, one, check it out. <gasps> oh Whoa. my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> I could have never imagined this to look like this. Wow, I love all the plants. That's like the first thing I'm seeing. Pl I love plants it. galore, just how I like it. Look at the little accent on the wall. Oh my gosh. The colors, I could have never put this together. <laughs> Did we get entertained here? Oh, we can entertain. Yeah, I'm well. ready to have Thanksgiving. <laughs> Amazing job, I can't even thank you Maurice, enough. Maurice, Maurice, you outdid yourself, man. Thank you so much, I'm so glad that you're feeling it. It went from an empty room to just so much life, just, like, just how we wanted it. Oh, wow, this is really nice. This looks and amazing. Like, look, when we have Thanksgiving, everyone's going, you know, everyone congregates in the kitchen. Now we can all sit and talk all the way through to the dining room. This is awesome. I really wanted this space to be very dynamic. I wanted to keep those nods of the 90s going. You know, the naughty pine around the windows actually looked really great, but the railing was a little excessive. So taking that and kind of modernizing that, that relates back to the walls, which are dark and give you a little bit more depth. We really wanted to play up that idea of faux finishing because it was so big in the 90s with all that sponging and all that nonsense. So we made it Venetian plaster and charcoal gray. So we really wanted to bring you into the 21st century, but still have that throwback 90s vibe, if you know what I mean. If it wasn't obvious, you knew I was getting rid of those columns. Those were crazy. But we just wanted to like warm up the space, have a place for you to chill, have a place for you to water your plants and let life grow and see how life evolves. I can't get over all the pieces, how they were all put together, all the different colors, how we can still have a touch of the 90s, but have the updated 90s. Right. It looks amazing. And to know that all of this came from Lowe's is pretty incredible. We've actually turned it into a proper bonus room, and I hope that you're really happy with how this turned out. Oh man, we can't thank you guys enough. This is everything we could imagine and more. This, this is awesome. Bye, Maurice. Bye, Maurice. Thanks again. Bye, y'all. I will see you really soon. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Design of the Times. It was such a pleasure to do this one. Use the link below to check out all of the incredible paint colors that are a part of Lowe's new Centennial Paint Palette. And of course, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on anything.